بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ہیونگ اے لک ایٹ دا فرسٹ لرننگ پاتھ پریپیئر دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی ول کنٹینیو آر وی ول کنٹینیو آر ڈسکشن آن دا ٹاپک ڈیزائن اے اسٹار اسکیما دیٹ کنٹینس فیکس اینڈ ڈائمینشنس ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی کورڈ ہاؤ دا تھری ڈائمینشنس کسٹمرس پروڈکٹس اینڈ اسٹورز ہیو سرٹن کالمس فرا ان دا را ڈیٹا اینڈ ہاؤ وی کین Uh, we, we can link the, these tables with, the, with these columns which are called as the attributes. So now we have figured out the dimensions. So now we need to figure out our fact table. So the fact table is normally associated with transactional information. So we can call this, this table as the transactions table, this fact table as the, as the transactions table. And from the definition, we actually saw through two things that fact table comprises quantitative data which represents the transactions the quantitative columns plus the foreign key so let's first go and see what are the trans what are the quantitative quantitative columns or the columns which represent a transaction in our raw data file so i'm back in the power query editor and we have to look for the columns that represent the transactional information or something that is associated with the transaction So the first column that we can think of is the discount column because discount is obviously on every transaction that is offered. Then, then the number of records, it's, it's a column that we have to look into. So there can be certain columns that are not clear to you by just looking at the data or you have to even ask someone who has given you that, you given you that data that what is the description of this column. So by apparently looking at this column it looks like that this this column uh, i would put in 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 the in the list of the columns related to the fact then order date is obviously um, something that describes how when a date when when an order was placed so this is the transactional information so i am going to uh, include this then order id is associated with every order order or transaction then order priority is obviously again another thing that is associated with the uh, with uh, with the transaction similarly order quantity is another column and then we have profit which is again associated with the transaction then the row id then the sales and then the date of shipping of that particular uh, transaction the shipping mode the shipping cost so all of this and obviously the last bit which we discussed in the last video is unit price because the price can also change so anything just as a general rule anything that represents a transactional information because the data that we had is basically transactional data that goes into the fact table so i'm i'll just go back into the excel sheet and try to fill in the columns uh, that we have just seen here and make up the attributes of our fact table which we have given the name transactions so here you can see that all the columns associated with the transactions all of which are actually associated with the transactional information have been captured in this list so the only information that is left now is associated with the foreign key so first we need to understand the concept of primary key and foreign key so once we were talking about the the three dimensions the dimension itself we said that all the records must be uniquely identifiable so once i say these should be uniquely identifiable it means that there must be at least one column in the in the table which actually uniquely identifies all the records in that table it could be one column it could be more than one column it could be a combination of one uh, of more than one column but essentially at the end of the day there should be one column that should be able to uniquely identify all the records in a dimension so if we agree that there has to be a column that uniquely identifies all the records in a dimension then if it is available in the data we take that as it is or else we will have to generate that that particular column so that particular column is normally identified as an id 
as an identifier and normally it it is referred to as a customer id or a product id or a store id or something like that so that column should be unique for all the records in the table this column here that we have been discussing is called as the primary key so primary key is that column that uniquely identifies all the records of a table once we have a primary key in a dimension if that primary key is present inside a fact table so if a primary key is present present inside a fact table then that primary key is called as the foreign key and this primary key and foreign key combination is essential to creating relationships so we are not going to discuss relationships in this video but i am going to end this video with the concept of primary key and foreign key so you should know that once we are talking about a dimension there is always a primary key and once we are talking about a fact then there there will be a foreign key or there can be multiple foreign keys associated with each of the dimension so we are going to talk about uh, all of these in the next video where we are we will, where we will see that how we can change the raw data into the facts and dimensions that we have just created the list of which we have just created in the, in this excel sheet and in the next video we are going to practically do it inside of power query editor so that's all for this part and i will see you in the next video